So you wanna start playing soccer, but you feel like you're too old and that your glory days are already behind you. Today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys five solid reasons on why you should still pursue your soccer goals and whether that be for recreational or to play professionally. Hey everybody, it's Joe Dobbini from Underdog Development, where we help you amplify your soccer and player marketing ability so that you can be that much closer to signing your very first professional contract. If you're new here, be, make sure to hit the subscribe button and all links mentioned in the video, you can find them in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. And make sure you stay to the very end of this video because I'm gonna be giving you guys three bonus tips on how you can sign your first professional soccer contract. So the first thing is you gotta remember is everybody's journey is different. Although there's plenty of players that sign professionally at a very young age, that counts for less than 5% of them that are under 20. That means for the rest of everybody that's playing professionally or when they first signed their first professional contract, they are after the age of their 20s. So comparing your soccer journey to others will only feel disappointment and defeat. So you just gotta keep your head down, keep grinding and grinding and trust the most high timing and the way God has aligned their life and their journeys for them. And you just stay focused on your journey and you'll be grateful at the end of the day that you kept training. The second thing is you can still get ahead of experienced players. So the thing of today is plenty of players today do not not train enough as they need to to stay at the top. And the best part is there's players like us who are hungry and ready to come and take the positions. And we out train them and by the end of the day, we end up surpassing them. They may have been playing soccer for maybe eight years or something, but it was for fun and it wasn't consistent. But we can take those eight years that they did and squeeze it into three solid hard years of consistent hard work showing up every day and suddenly you're ahead of them. So I started playing soccer when I was 16 and I still ended up playing at a division one school. My personal journey was a late start. And before playing soccer, I played every other sport except for baseball. And then when I got to high school, I took interest in playing soccer. So I started and I was the worst one on my JV team, but I knew I wanted to improve and be better than everybody else. So I kept training. After we'd finish you know, soccer training with the whole team, Every afternoon I get home and train again by myself and slowly as time started moving along I ended up being from bench on JV to being on the starting lineup on varsity. Now we fast forward after completing my associate's degree I ended up walking onto a division one school called University of Texas in the Rio Grande Valley and it was a D1 school and I had received my full ride on my second year there. So if I could play, pass up all these players that have been paying all their life, so can you. The fourth reason is character, development, and discipline. When you have such big goals as to play soccer professionally, to achieve these goals, you have to develop a high sense of hard work, discipline, and dedication. This is from the understanding that the competition everywhere is going, you're going to be playing against the very best of the best. And that means you must show up every day, ready to work hard every time. And then you just gotta rant and repeat until you make it. So the next thing you're gonna realize is that this discipline is just going to start translating into your daily life with the way you do everything else. The fifth reason is you gain a lot of great health benefits. Playing any sport encourages great health, but unlike most other sports, soccer puts a lot of of your body's muscles into work such as your brains, your arms, your abs, and your legs. And don't forget your heart becomes the ultimate beating machine, helping your immune system be strong and great blood flow supporting the brain activities. Which is why playing the game helps prevent depression and keeps you away from all the bad habits that can affect your gameplay. So congratulations, you made it towards the end of the video. Now we're gonna give you the three bonus tips that we promised at the beginning of this video. So the first tip is to focus on position specific training. So if you're a center back or a goalkeeper, you don't wanna be wasting time taking free kicks all the time because you will never take it into the game. Instead, you wanna be focusing on things that defenders and goalkeepers do. So the second bonus tip is to find the best team nearby. You don't have to play on academies to improve. You can play on Division One, Sunday League teams, or indoor league teams, and you know, get plenty of playing experience. And there's even some players who play on multiple teams who just get more minutes in against other teams so they can improve much faster. So the third way you know that can help you advance is finding a mentor. Someone who has gone through the same path that you're trying to. And if you can't find somebody with that same journey, you could always set up a one-on-one -on -one call with me, myself, or William Ikeo, another Scottish Premier League player. 
at uddevelop.com. You can find this link in the description box down below. So set up a one-on-one -on -one call with either one of us and we will get you right. Remember, the power is in your hands. And if you're still skeptical about starting to play soccer, go ahead and click the link that's gonna be popping up on the screen. It's gonna be a journey where I explain my story on my journey how I started at 16 years old, all the way to playing at a division one school. And I hope it encourages you to start playing and I'll see you soon.